and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that looks to answer exactly those. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and today we're talking about who, if it happened, would be dragged into World War III. You guys may have watched our video, Who Would Win World War III, where we touched on the key players, but we wanted to go more in depth to get a sense of how global and catastrophic the event would be. So far, there is building tension between the United States and North Korea, as well as the United States and Syria. President Trump has dropped bombs on Syria in response to a chemical attack used by Syrian President Assad. North Korea have made it clear from their propaganda videos that they would love to strike the United States if they could, and the United States has responded to missiles and nuclear tests by increasing their military presence around the North Korean peninsula. Of course, it isn't as simple as the United States versus Syria and North Korea. Both of these comparatively small countries have huge superpower allies. Because of oil interests, Russia protects Syria, and for similar political reasons, China is an ally to North Korea. Yikes. Alone, North America will not want to take on both Russia and China. Both countries grappling for world superpower statuses would have reason to want to fight the US if they had to. Russia wants control of oil in the East, and China is economically grappling for trade, with Trump's Buy American ethos greatly angering them. While Syria and North Korea are not equipped for war, Russia and China have made their thriving military arsenal known. At this point, China is remaining neutral, but if war was sparked, they may get in on the action. The question is though, would China want to align itself with Russia? Also anti-USA are Iran and Bolivia, with both countries strongly condemning Trump's actions following the Syrian missile strike. It is possible that these countries could be involved in an anti-American alliance. But who would be fighting with the United States? They do have some very strong allies. South Korea are allied with the United States, who have been assisting their protection against their angry neighbours in North Korea. South Korean territory would be crucial in the fight. The same would likely apply for Russian enemies, the Ukraine. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau of Canada has stuck true to the historic partnership between Canada and the United States, lending his support for Trump's actions against Syria. Canada would undoubtedly fight on an American side if war ever broke out. Also in alliance, we have the United Kingdom, France and Germany, along with much of Europe. In the Middle East, it seems that Israel, Saudi Arabia, Turkey and the United Arab Emirates are in support of the US as is Australia. Israel actually has its own vested interest, with tensions already existing between them and Iran. Finally, despite being enemies in World War II, relations with the Japanese are very good with the states right now, and America may expect their backing. Currently neutral are Italy, Poland, South Africa, New Zealand, Scandinavia and Ireland. Questions remain as to Mexico, with some suggesting that Russia would look to arm them against the US, although personally, I find that unlikely. The country traditionally prefers neutrality, as with most of South America. It's also unclear what stance large parts of Africa, Thailand, Venezuela and India would have, as they have previously had tension with the states. India of course have historic tension with Pakistan, and with the rest of the world fighting, perhaps these two could digress to a war of their own. But there is one group we have yet to discuss. Not a country, but a group of people united under a misguided ideological flag the Islamic State. ISIS would undoubtedly want to get in on the action, using the chaos to make further gains in the Middle East and to recruit the disenfranchised. As countries focused on fighting one another, I can only imagine ISIS would use their distraction to plot terror. So there we have it, the fighting would take place across the world, with almost everyone in some way dragged into the chaos. And chaos is exactly what it would be. Just to reiterate the sentiment of our previous World War 3 video, the outcome of this war, if it were to happen, would be devastating for everyone and yield no winners. Let's hope everybody can keep their cool and work together towards peaceful solutions, which is the sentiment we would like to end our video with. If you have any thoughts on the topics, please do leave them in the comments section down below. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate. Remember to stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning.